John McGuinness on the TT Legends bike. A little bit of a hop again there as he went past the podium. Guy Martin on the Tyco Suzuki went wide towards the scoreboard, but much more central this time around. The blue and white leathers, the yellow helmet of Guy Martin away. Here's the man of the meeting, Michael Dunlop. He's down on the back. Front wheel popping up in the air again as he approaches the bottom of pit lane. Belting start from this man, he really did fire that off the line. He always does, so aggressive off the start, and for the first few miles he just gets stuck straight in. Look and at this. all got in their minds about the mounting tyre. It won't be at this section of the course, but yeah, it is quite spectacular, isn't it, to set off without any practice warm-up or anything quite like that. Looking back now, John McGuinness. Yep. Looks as settled as most people when you get that on-board sort of uh, looking back at the rider. Again, Kurt Michael, that's what it looks like from the front of the bike. Uh, these guys giving it everything. This is the big one, really. We said it before. It's like the Wimbledon, the Grand National. It's Le Mans. Exactly. It's the yep. trophy that everyone wants to be on. Yep. Uh, you want that one on your mantelpiece if you're going to have any. This is Haley at uh, Balafa. That's a really nice jump. You can do a lot of damage there for not a lot of gain. Yeah, absolutely. The more time you're in the air, the less power you're putting down. Correct. John McGuinness. I'll tell you what, there's been some cracking starts. There's about a second and a half in six riders at Glen Helen. Oh, and that was a bigger jump. It's not like John. That, that's an indication, I think, of how much he's pushing on. He was determined to make a good start. Sure. And I think it's Gary Johnson's just in front as they get to this point. But in front of this guy and his brother William, they're all so close. There's just a second in it. Yeah, and I think that's a steadier jump for Michael than John over the lap. That's unusual. And here is Gary Johnson, hard on the brakes on the link lifting machine, and got to get it all nicely straightened up. Second gear, nicely done, very smooth. There you can see Michael Dunlop has just crept in front of Johnson now, just point three of a second. Yeah, Johnson had led by a fraction at Glenella. Look at this, this is Michael Dunlop trying to get past Bruce Hans. Ooh, they didn't see each other there, did they? Not at all, and it might look a wide road, but when you're doing 175, 180 miles an hour, and it's like curve, curve to curve. And the, the helicopter can't keep up, we keep saying it, but it keeps not being. <laughs> yeah, up the top of the mountain now. And again, look at man, many people are up here. Yep, we've got James Hilly, I think Cam Donald's just come flying through there. This will be John McGuinness. And he's in the hunt as well. He's fractions of a second behind. Uh, well, there's Gary Johnson in second, Michael Donald. This lad is now third, but there's not much in it. And there goes Dunlop. Let's have a look to see exactly what's going on at the end of lap one. And it is, we know Dunlop is leading, but McGuinness now up into second place. Look at that, Johnson, Rutter and Martin behind. Lap two of the senior race, and you can see from the leaderboard, it's 1.38 seconds that Dunlop has over McGuinness. And there is Dunlop on that screen there, trying to get past Cam Donald. He is absolutely flying. He is, and he's going to do it at Ren Cullen. Now, this is John McGuinness, and look who's stuck to his rear end. That's we start first at James Hillier. This is good for James Hillier. Dunlop here, still trying to get past Cameron Donald. He's probably losing a bit of time here, in fairness. Yeah, we're looking forward from Bruce Anst, his uh, Paget's Honda. He squeezes He got past. Seems a quick ball. Oh, and that was his chance. He passed with him. Towards Balaf, down through the gearbox. We ride with Bruce Anstey, and that's Michael Dunlop in front. Let's check him out. Straightens it up and over. Look at this. McGuinness is closing in. So, well, I reckon Dunlop did get held out. Down McGuinness is 0.5 of a second behind. John McGuinness climbs a mountain, and I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with James Hillier on the Kawasaki there, the Quattro Black Kawasaki, because he hasn't been shaking off to him. This is going to help his cause as well. Yeah, we're riding with Bruce Hansen, you can just about in the distance see Michael Dunlop, and uh, we'll get you some times from Ramsey Hairpin as they blast up towards the Goosing. And there it is, look at that, the old Warhols. McGuinness is in front of Dunlop, 0.23 of a second. Right, John McGuinness through Brad, and he goes through that, and after that electric pit stop, his lead now is six seconds, so that's impressive. His crew is second to none of the TTs, Steve, and they never make a mistake. Anyway, now we'll see if this man, number three, John McGuinness, can respond, and if he responds, then he's going to respond with James Hillier exactly. again. There's number 14, Dean Harrison on the Kawasaki, the RC Express racing machine in the top ten, having a great week. Michael Dunlop. In second, as it out and look how quick Steve wow. Bruce has it's got right in the back of Michael down towards the Craig. On board with Hillier, and we know he's now got up into fifth place, and that's courtesy of John McGuinness doing everything he can to drag him. And look at their faces, they can't believe what they're seeing here today. I don't know whether McGuinness knows he's helping him, but he certainly is. Can't get rid of him, he can't, can't, he can't shake him off. McGuinness still the bottom of Bray, oh, shakes in the bottom. 
at the end of lap three, John McGuinness Dunlop. Anstey now has moved up in front of Guy Martin, Hillier and Rutter. You can see how close Hillier and McGuinness are there from that shot. Now looking back from Guy Martin, and I can tell you, Hillier's now into fourth place. He has displaced Guy Martin, the man we're riding with, looking back at Michael Dunlop and Bruce Anstey because he is getting dragged along. Yeah, here we go, Slipstream City, and there is Michael Dunlop. He's on the inside, it gets tight there, but he's got down the inside. He might be dropping Bruce off now. Yeah, this is the end of Conky Body. That's Molly News and Newman. Oh, 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 oh. Short circuit stuff into, uh, into Craig Nibar, because it's the corner you learn first, it's the corner you watch at first. Oh, oh my goodness, there. did you see that? John McGuinness, the spectators nearly fell off what? the bank there. Into Governor's Dip, it's, it's tight, and there's back markers in there. Always feels like he's just going to fall off and tip over. You've been doing 190 miles an hour. Back markers getting shoved out of the way by Hillier. Onto the Glen Crutcher Road. We haven't seen a bad pit stop from certainly the Honda Legend side of the garage that looks after John McGuinness yet all week. Right, clock's ticking, and there goes Bruce Anstey. He's away. Is he away before Michael? And he is. Look at that. And you can see Michael, look, shaking his head. He's annoyed. He's got to repass Bruce Anstey and get back in front of him to go fast. And it's lap five. John McGuinness there. Number three leads this race. We're not exactly sure what it is, but somewhere around 10 seconds. Still towing James Hillier along. Yeah, John McGuinness has been nicking time on Michael Dunlop the whole way around. Good ride from Hillier. Kawasaki's still saying it's good. And here he comes, Michael Dunlop coming into the bungalow. And it is, it is 10, ten seconds. seconds. 37, three quarter miles for John McGuinness to take his 20th TT if he can keep this up. There's the man that's chasing him. And, but it does look like that John McGuinness has done it. And here we get confirmation of that. Look at that. Fantastic. 9.8 seconds he has over Dunlop. Now then, that's the man, John McGuinness. What's going through his mind? Yeah, it's this, I mean... Hoping the, that the bike keeps running, that's yeah, what's going this through this is going to be his 20th win. This is Bruce Hansen. Now he has, oh. he's got past, he had to go past Michael Dunlop. He'll have got the signals, possibly the gooseneck, I think. Yeah, I would have thought so. And, and you cannot not be tired now. You've done no, no, five no. and three-quarter laps. You've got to be worn out. And there he goes, it looks like Mallory Hairpin through there, he's got it laid on its side, but there goes John McGuinness, he is going to take his 20th TT win, 41st podium, what a result from him. A lot of people wanting him to win, but oh. everyone thought Dunlop with his four wins was going to do it here, but John McGuinness comes That's back strong. That's really emotional for me, everybody thought that the, the tide had changed, Dunlop oh look at that, knows, yeah. look at that. Knows. He, knows. he knows his race hard for it. To win a six-lap senior TT in these conditions, it's red out there, the tarmac's melting, yeah, no, it's just, just lovely.